What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I want to talk about the possibility of foundry armors. Now I have picked up on a few instances which leads me to believe this may actually be the case and when the Taken King drops we may actually be able to wear a Molon Suros and hack our armors, wouldn't that be absolutely epic? Now, a Marlon Suros and a Hacker are the only founders we know that will be coming with the Taken King, but there are many more already in the game. Ones like Kassord, Crux Lamar, Dato, and Tex Mechanica. Although not confirmed by Bungie, that these will have their own setup of weapons like Suros and Marlon and Hacker. After a little research, you'll figure that we have seen a few new weapons that come with the Taken King that actually represent a couple of these foundries. In the first Taken King trailer, we saw this amazing looking lever action shotgun which represents Tex Mechanica, the family that created the last word as you can see by the logo on the rear of the weapon. Another weapon I picked up being a part of a foundry is the exclusive Jade Rabbit Scout Rifle which has the Dato logo on the back, clearly seen here. Now after watching the trailer extensively over and over again, there are a few other weapons I have noticed which did seem to own a logo or design which I basically wasn't familiar with. This one on screen now you can see it's a hand cannon being welded by a hunter which at first I thought had a uh, Vanguard logo on the side but after close inspection we see that it has a spade logo on the side, not Vanguard. I know it's only minor but I do believe it's something I haven't seen on a weapon previously to see in this trailer. Something else I want to pick up on. Now from the trailers we have seen from the Taken King we have seen plenty of faction weapons and armors. But going through them again I noticed this right here. It's a dead orbit weapon which has the exact shape design as the Amalan weapon the San FR4. So what does this mean? Well it seems as though the uniqueness in design we get from the foundry weapons won't be so unique at all. I mean it may not be that Bungie are reskinning weapons as we all know they love to do. Maybe factions such as Dead Orbit, New Monarchy and Future Warcult offer weapon shaders which can be applied to other weapons. But if you ask me that probably ain't the case and we will be getting weapon reskins again. Now onto what this video is mainly about. And that is the possibility of Suros, Amolid and Hacker Armors. Yes, I know it sounds too good to be true that you could rock that Suros armor or even imagine a Amolid armor. That would be absolutely epic. Imagine the designs of them, if not just reskinned. Well guys, after searching high and low, I have some good news for you guys. I believe I can confirm that armors made by Weapon Founders will be implemented into the Taken King DLC. If you guys watched the first trailer, uh, which I will link in the video description if you guys do want to check the whole thing out. If you skip to 1 minute 50, we can see three guardians representing each class, a Titan, a Warlock and a Hunter. Surely we can all agree on the armors that these are wearing are full armors of the same maker. Now check out the Titan in the middle. When we get a close up of the helmet, we can clearly see the hacker logo on the left side of the helmet. But even better than this, check out this official picture from Bungie of a Hunter, Warlock and Titan representing the Taken King DLC. On the same side as the last footage we just seen, on the side of the Titan's helmet, we can see the Hacker logo and clearly right next to it, it states Hacker. So all through not confirmed yet by Bungie, it's clear to me that these type of armors will be available in game, whether via challenges to unlock them or from specialist foundry vendors. We're just gonna have to wait and see. But guys, let me know your opinion on this down below in that comment section. Also let me know what you think about the Dead Orbit weapon that looks exactly like that Marlon weapon. Do you think it's a reskin or do you think it's a weapon shader which I doubt it will be. We all know Bungie do like to reskin their weapons. Will the Taken King be just another case of that? We're just going to have to wait and see. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support and peace out until next time. Peace! Always in the wrong.